Okay, before we begin, I want to show you guys something, okay? Now, do you see this mouse right here? Okay? Oh my god, focus. This mouse right here has a fly under it. Okay? Now, you might be like, what do you what do you mean? There was as I was setting up, there was a fly running around my room or flying around my room, I mean. It landed right here. And so I picked up my mouse and I just went like that and I got it. Now, I felt it kind of crunch when I, I squished it, which ugh, I, can't, I can't stand that. Like, I can't stand squishing bugs and like feeling and hearing the crunch. Ugh. But I'm going to lift it up and show you guys. Because like I think that's actually pretty impressive to catch a fly like that. Because motherfuckers are nimble as hell. All right. Do you think it's dead? Ah. That's disgusting. Ah, that's fucking gross. Uh, um, okay. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of this beer. Yeah. Okay, that was a way bigger deal than I made it out to be. <laughs> but okay, anyways. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be watching Game of Thrones season six, six, episode two. Now, in the last episode, pretty strong episode. Shit got kind of weird at the end with Melisandre. Not even gonna lie, you know. So like, she took the necklace off. She got super old. So like, I'm guessing that's what she actually looks like. And the necklace makes her look super young and pretty. That that ending was just weird. But Sir Devos is kind of counting on her to kind of help them out because Sir Devos and a couple other brothers of the Night's Watch, they're in the room right now. And Sir Alistair is like, hey, look, you come out, we'll let you go. You know, which I think he's totally capping about. Like, fuck no, he's not going to let them live. He's going to kill them on sight. He's going to get them to come out of the room and they're just going to kill him immediately. So, so, but Sir Devos probably knows that too. Like, Sir Devos knows that. So they're gonna hold off in that room. And then Sansa and Theon were running away. They were kind of screwed for a second, but then Big B pulled up, saved their ass, and now they're off together. So Sansa and Theon are being protected by Big B and Pod. And I, I love that because now it's like, yes, Sansa fine. Like, Sansa can, she can finally trust Big B now. Well, she kind of had no other choice, if I'm being honest. But. Like, it kind of just proved to her, yeah, Big B, she wasn't capping. She's actually loyal to me. She actually wants to help me. So I, especially in this moment, I'm going to take her help. And they said they were going to go to Castle Black because that's where John is. But <laughs> they don't know yet. So we'll see what happens if they get there anytime soon. So they think John's alive over there. You know, that's going to be kind of awkward. But we'll just see what happens with that. But Ramsey does need Sansa alive so she can have his son so he can have like she's the key to the north and everything so he's trying to find her but he's not gonna kill her until she gives him a son and then he'll probably kill her if he does find her eventually like that's his plan he just wants a son out of her and then he's probably just gonna kill her so hopefully he never fucking finds her and this might be like this is kind of a spoiler but i'm looking at the thumbnail of the episode and it looks like that's fucking bran so we'll see what's good with him in this episode because he hasn't been in the show since season four episode 10 and when it's fucking season six so i'm excited to see what's going on with him but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes of game of thrones will also be available on patreon so let's get started okay so yeah we're back with brand three he found the three-eyed raven so Oh shit. Give him another go, Ned. That's my father. Oh, yeah, he said Ned. Aww. Build up or I'll ring your head like a bell. Aw, tough love, Ned. Tough love by Ned. They were all so happy. Yep. If only they knew. My Aunt Liana. Hmm. My father never talked about her. Was she toxic? What about him? Oh, okay, he can interact with them and they see him. Oh, never mind. So they can't see him. Don't dodge me, lady. Who your talks? A Tordor? Damn. 
hey. Okay, side note, Brandon looks old as fuck now. You could talk. Yeah, his actual name's Willis. What happened? Hold on. I, yeah, I wanna know what happened to him. Yeah, since Bren wasn't in the last season at all, him from season four to season six, so, so much, like he's so much older now. It's like, he looks older to me than the fucking second season to the third season of Stranger Things and those, then the kids looked in that, if that makes sense. His real name is Willis. Mm -hmm. He could talk and fight and, and then, Bro, she doesn't care. Her brother just died. The Three-Eyed Raven says there's a war coming. Oh, yeah. Damn, that's a fucking amazing view. We'll even set the wolf free north of the wall where it belongs. You're capping, bro. You're gonna kill it. Yeah, these are, they're gonna get shot with arrows as soon as they walk out. Oh. Apologies for what you're about to see. <laughs> ah. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, it's the why it's Ed and the Wild Wings. It has to be. It has to be. That's a giant. Let's fucking go! Yes! Yes! That's literally yes! Yes! yes. For John, yes! Yes! Torment, go off! Fight you, cowards! Fuck no, they know they're gonna lose. They know they're gonna lose. Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> Waxed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Fucking traitor. Fuck you, you killed Drea. Yeah. Are the ones who shoved their knives into their Lord Commander's heart. Exactly. Oh, you. Yeah! Ollie, kill, please kill Ollie, please. I don't care. Please, I, I don't care if he dies. Throw them into the cells. But yeah, fuck yeah. Ed is my favorite Night's Watch. That's he's my favorite Night's Watch brother. That's alive. <laughs> Probably hurts him now because. He knows how, like, John truly cared. You know? R.I.P. John, dude. Like, I know that hurt Tormund, bro. I, I know it still hurt him to see that for John. See John like that. I fuck with Tormund now. Like, I mean, I kind of started to like him more and more, but now, like, I really like him. Cause like the fact that he he came through for John, like that, go and avenge him. Love that. Oh, it's the Mountain. Wow, okay. Why, why, just because he can? You're barring me from attending my own daughter's funeral. Damn. Your grace, by the king's command, I cannot let you pass. Hey, she's a changed person. I mean, it's kind of fucked up. Tommy could have let her go there, at least. Like, if all those guards go with her, then I think she'll be... Then no one's get The fucking high sparrows aren't getting her back if they wanted to. Especially with the mountain there, too. Of course not. Then why didn't you let her come? Yeah. Why haven't you gone to see her? Yeah. When the Faith Militant sees her and Marjorie, what did I do? What did I do? Uh, he feels ashamed that he didn't, he didn't do anything about it, about her and Marge. And ask her to forgive you. Yeah. Fuck you, why are you here? Fuck you. The gods wait for Queen Marjorie to confess her crimes and seek their mercy. Jamie, tell this fool to let me see my wife or kill him right now. That's what if that's what I'm if I'm Tommen, that's what I'm telling Jamie right now. Jamie, I know you don't have your hand, but you're still waxing him. Let me see my wife, or I'm gonna have Jamie kill you right now. Like, what the fuck? You're a bold man. Yeah. What atonement do I deserve? <laughs> you would spill blood in this holy place. Fuck yeah. God's not mine. Jamie. Blood and the rest of us combined. Jamie doesn't give a fuck. I deserve it. We all do. I. We <laughs> creatures. We live only by. Oh, who the who the fuck? Oh no, he has backup. Oh no, no, they're not taking Jamie. No, no, no way they take Jamie. They should be closer if you mean for them to save you. <sighs> They'd never reach me before you struck. 
Yeah. If Jimmy had his hand, maybe, uh, I just don't know. We can overthrow an empire. Yeah, you can't, you can't kill him right here, right now. It's just because he has all his backup. I swear to God, just get the fucking, just get, oh my God, dude, just get some soldiers. Like, just get like 20 soldiers and go wipe them out. It's like, it, it could be that simple. Like, Jamie, obviously you go too and you lead the, you lead the 20 soldiers to go wipe them out. But like, still. <laughs> like, I shouldn't have, but I was, I know I should have come sooner. Mm-hmm. No, it isn't. Cersei is broken, so she's just like, uh. I should have executed all of them. Yeah, you should have. I should have pulled down the sept onto the High Sparrow's head before I let them do that to you. Bro, it's not too late. Go do it. You would have. For me. Yeah, she would have for you, probably. And I wasn't. <sighs> but I want to be. Be strong. <sighs> yeah, she has genuine love for her kids. I, I can respect that. But... <sighs> feel like Joffrey Joffrey was raised in the way that he wouldn't stand for that but I feel like with Tommen since if he's I the younger cock, son I drink all the time <laughs> what oh uh, <laughs> Tommen I feel like she probably babied him a little more so he's not as strong or as brutal as Joffrey but it's okay he can learn still he has compassion like he doesn't want to kill for he, but yeah, you do what you gotta do, Tommen. The masters have retaken both cities. Ah. Dragons do not do well in captivity. How do you yep. know this? That's what I do. I drink and I know things. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty obvious. You know? Aegon used to conquer Westeros mm. ranged over hundreds of miles. Aris's ancestors started chaining them up in pens. Mm, I wonder if Damon started that. They must be unchained or they'll waste away. Yep. But the problem was, weren't they like burning a bunch of kids and goats and everything? And, like innocent people, like one of the dragons burned that guy's like three-year-old daughter, so so that's why she chained them up. I am their friend. Do they know that? They will. Hey. Uh, Dude, Tyrion has some fucking nuts. Go up to them. I'm friends with your mother. <laughs> Don't eat the help. <laughs> He's so scared to touch him. He did it. Yep, yeah, it's like unchained me too. Bro, are they gonna fit through the door? Yeah, I don't know if they're fitting through that door. Next time I have an idea like that, punch me in the face. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, this bitch is back to beat the fuck out of Arya. Ooh, Arya got her. Is Jagan? Who are you? Yep. A girl has no name. Just testing her though. The man will feed her tonight. Don't fall for it. If a girl says her name, the man will give her eyes back. Mmm, fuck. Don't say it. A girl has no name. Yeah, there you go. Probably would have folded after the eyes. Your best hunters. They obviously had help. Mm-hmm. Thank you for this report, Lord Carstone. We know where she's going. Where? The brothers at Castle Black. Fuck. And the few men left are barely men at all. Farm boys and thieves. You'd unite every house in the north against us. Yeah. The Starks lost my house the day King Rob cut off my father's head. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna say, like, oh, isn't the car Starks that dude like Rob cut his head off? Because he killed the Lannister kids, but then he just said that, so. Lady Walder has given birth. Mm. A boy. All right. Red cheeked and healthy. Yeah, fuck you, Ramsey. Congratulations, father. <clears throat> that hurts for Ramsey so bad. Ramsey's gonna kill him. It means a great deal to me. I don't know. <gasps> oh! <sighs> oh! This motherfucker. This motherfucker just killed Bolton. Wow. <sighs> wow. Dude, not even gonna lie, I was kind of looking down at my straw, and then I heard the stab, and like, my body just like tingled, because I was like, wait. Ravens to all the northern houses, Roose Bolton is dead. Fuck. Poisoned by our enemies. Fuck. Eh, Bolton was a bitch anyway. He was smart, but he was a bitch. She's resting. <sighs> And we're gonna go kill them. You know, 
If Bolton didn't kill Rob, I'd have no beef with him. I would actually be kind of sad right now, but it's fuck him. But I did like Bolton more than uh, Ramsey, so I kind of sucks. Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> He's gonna be like, hey, come over here with me. Yeah, I, gotta I, I gotta show you something. No, what do you, no. <laughs> Have you seen him? Yeah, he's over here. And just fucking knife to the throat. Follow me, mother. Fuck. <laughs> Wait. Is this is this the kennel? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> he's gonna let all the dogs just I am Lord Bolton. Fuck. <laughs> I prefer being an only child. Mm. <laughs> wow. I'm not surprised. I, I, I'm not surprised. How'd she look? Did she look good? Oh, uh, are you? Yeah. I should have gone with you while I had the chance. Yeah. But you didn't know any better. Look at that. Pod learned how to start a fire. Nice trying, at least. <laughs> Let's have to make it to Castle Black. Once we will I'll tell him the truth about Brandon Rickon. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, he'll find out the truth about John. The truth about Rob who I betray. Mm-hmm. You gotta take one of the horses. Where will you go? Yeah, where are you gonna go? Home. Oh, back to the Ironborn. That's right, yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, his fucking stupid ass dad. Trying to rescue Theon. And yeah. where is he? Where is your He's about to be here? <sighs> okay, I wonder how his dad's gonna react when Theon pulls up if he even gets there. <laughs> oh, that is so sketchy. Haven't I always, brother? Wait. Who the fuck is this? His brother? You have had your time. Now let another rule. I am the storm, brother. He's gonna kill him. Cause he won't. And you're in my way. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Damn. So if that's his brother, wouldn't that technically make him king now? And not Yara? Or he was a dick anyway. I'm going to feed them to the sharks while they live. Mm -hmm. The throne is not yours to swear upon. Ooh. Get to choose. The law is clear. Ah, oh, okay. Perhaps you'll be the first woman in history to rule the Ironborn. Yeah, I feel like she'd be a good leader. You interrupt nothing. Yeah, just her, her, her guilt, her sorrows. I assume you know why I'm here. I will after you tell me. <laughs> the former Lord Commander. Does he have to be? Hmm? What are you asking? What do you mean by that? Do you know of any magic that could help him? Mm. Bring him back. Mm. If you want to help him, leave him be. Can it be? Yeah. yeah. I met a man who came back from the dead, but the priest who did it, it shouldn't have been possible. But it was. Wait, that's right, that's right. Back in like season three, it was uh, Thoros' boy, whatever, fucking... The Brotherhood of Banners or whatever? They fucking, yeah. I saw you drink poison that should have killed you. Yeah. To a demon made of shadows. Yeah. The great victory I saw in the flames. So, yeah. All of it was a lie. Yeah, now she's, yeah, now she doubts it all. You were right all along. Fuck. The Lord never spoke to me. What? Fuck him then. <laughs> Seven gods, drown gods, tree gods, it's all the same. Tree gods. Seen the woman who showed me that miracles exist. Okay. See, now the rules are flipped. The rules are flipped. I never had this gift. What? Have you ever tried? She's been capping. Hey, we gotta try. Even if it's all just placebo, we gotta try. <laughs> it's fucking John. Keep trying, keep trying. Come on. Now Melisandre just feels embarrassed. Damn, John's kind of hooked. Fucking go W. That's a W. That's a W episode. That's a W episode. I fucking knew it would work. I never doubted it. <laughs>
all right john's fucking alive let's fucking go all right all right so john's fucking alive i fucking love to see it but i'm gonna be honest you know what kind of fucking pissed me off before i saw this episode this actually really fucking pissed me off okay let me let me just show you Okay, so here's the screen, right? But I click on the episode, right? Here's the thumbnail I was talking about in the beginning of it. You know, like, oh, there's Bran and the Three-Eyed Raven right here. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play the episode, you know, click play right here. But, like, what? Like, okay, look at this. I'm going to move this. What the fuck is this? Why? Why? Like... I saw that before I started the episode, and like, like I saw that, and I was like, "Oh, what?" I was like, "Wait, what?" And then I was like, "You know what? Fuck it, fuck it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Just watch the episode. Just watch it. See what happens." You know, like, why is that there? Why? So like, whatever. I just tried to forget about it and let the episode happen. But then at the end, right there, when he came up to Melisandre and mentioned the idea, then like, I was like, "Okay, it's happening." You know, it kind of sucks that that's right there. Like, what the fuck, HBO Max? What the fuck? Why is that? You could have that in the next episode. Like, why? Why? Like, like I get it's part of the episode, and it's like a little three-minute thing about it, but I feel like specifically for this situation, you should just put it in the next episode, you know? Like, what the fuck? But whatever, whatever. I'm not even mad. Like, it's still, like... It's still really cool to see John, to see John back, you know, can't fucking wait for him. I can't wait for the next fucking episode so I can see him back and all his glory, see Sir Alistair's fucking dumbass face and be like, <gasps> and everything, you know, knowing John, he's not, he's the type of guy to not kill them for killing him. <laughs> like I, like he's going to wait, like once he gets up or whatever, Wait, oh my god, you know what I just thought of? Um, okay, everyone left the room, right? And then he woke up. Imagine he gets up and he's like, what the fuck, you know? And then he walks out of the room and then someone from the Night's Watch sees him and just kills him again. And like, that's literally it. it that, how fucked up would that be? <laughs> That'd be so fucking like... That would just be a fuck you from the show. <laughs> That'd be the biggest fuck you of all time. <laughs> I hope they don't do that <laughs> but i didn't think the show would do this if i'm being honest because it's like well, okay well now that we know this let's get right to it let's get working on jo let's get working on rob let's get straight to rob okay next episode we're gonna go dig up rob and we're gonna fucking get him okay we're gonna bring him back all right we're gonna <laughs> and his body's completely decomposed and like wait oh wait yeah no Walder, what the fuck did water yeah, water walder frey probably just burned his body or like fucking threw it in a river or some shit i don't even know what he did with the body but even if we had the body it would be decomposed by now so whatever all right well but let's talk about the rest of the episode so uh, okay where do i start i feel like a lot happened in this episode all right let's start from the beginning so ed being the brother that he is my favorite Night's Watch member. Well, technically now second favorite because John's back. Um, he he got the wildlings. He pulled up on them. He pulled up with them. And the, everyone in the Night's Watch just gave up. They were like, oh shit. We're gonna lose this. I give up. But, I'll be, but Sir Alistair still won the fight. He, I, I kind of wish he would. I kind of wish they fought just so they could all get waxed. Because fuck everyone there now. But whatever, they're all in cells now, so whatever. You know, well, I can't wait to see everyone's reaction when they see John too. Like, Sir Devos, Melisandre, because Melisandre doesn't believe in this shit anymore. She was like, I was wrong. It was all a lie. Like, it, none of it was real, you know? But actually, that kind of just shows you it's not that her vision was wrong, because, well, ki kind of is wrong. Because, like, John, she said John was supposed to be fighting with Stannis, and they were supposed to win that but it's wrong in that sense but it's not wrong about john still being here even though she's the one that did it technically it's still somewhat right it's it's like the best way i can kind of put it is like star wars right another another star wars comparison here it's like anakin he's the chosen one right 
and he turns to the dark side and yoda's like well maybe we misread the prophecy you know maybe we did but nope because in the end anakin still killed the emperor and brought peace to the galaxy you know like in like yeah we had a little we had a little bump in the road right there but he still fucking did it at the very end so the so he's still the chosen one you know so it's kind of like that i feel like kind of like that all right and then tommen and jamie were talking and the high sparrow fucking poop dick pulled up and jamie was bad i just kill him right there but obviously as backup like dude okay i don't get why they don't just take the king's guard in the mountain and everyone and just go fucking wax the high sparrows like you're literally just get like dude like bro they're literally just controlling you and you're letting them control you like just do something about them we fuck i like i'm sure there's a reason why they can't but as far as i understand there's literally no reason why we can't just take a bunch of fucking soldiers and go wipe them out like like fuck dude <laughs> and then Tyrion went and he like he let the dragons go so they could you know roam around and they can get bigger so w right there w right there and then ramsey killed bolton <sighs> i'm not surprised at all when he killed walda and her son i'm not surprised at all because ramsey's a greedy bitch and he knew he'd be replaced so in his eyes he had to do it like okay i'm not like mad that bolton's dead but i okay besides him killing rob he i kind of liked him besides him killing rob like that's the only reason why i didn't like him but every, like he was smart you know like he was smart and i he was smart and i appreciated it <sighs> but help ramsey has a huge downfall later on i hope he just gets waxed but we'll see we'll just have to wait and see maybe sansa will tell big b about ramsey and then it'll be her mission to go and kill ramsey like it was her mission to go and kill stannis so hopefully hopefully and then speaking of them theon's going back to the ironborn i was gonna be like well how is his dad gonna react because like in his dad's eyes theon died a long time ago you know and at least Yara tried to go and save him, but she kind of realized, oh, like, there's nothing I can do about him anymore. So she just left him there, too. But he's coming back. I feel, yeah, well, but now his dad's fucking dead. I didn't, I never really liked him, if I'm being honest. So don't really mind that. But I, he kept, the dude that killed him kept calling him brother. So I'm assuming that's his brother, you know? It's not just, like, calling someone else bro or brother, you know? Like, they're actually blood-related brothers. And he came back. He wants the throne and everything. But there's like a law or something like that that's gonna prevent Yara from getting it. So we'll see what happens with that. But I feel like when Yara sees Theon, she's gonna be like, oh my god, brother, I miss you so much. You know? But that was Game of Thrones season six, episode two. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.